She plays the on-again, off-again wife of Mandy Patinkin's wise, weary CIA agent, Saul Berenson, on one of TV's most acclaimed dramas, Showtime's smash hit, Homeland. She now has a new film, Learning to Drive, starring Ben Kingsley and Patricia Clarkson. Delighted to be joined by Sarita Chowdhury. Let's just start by taking a look at a clip. Okay. This is you and Mandy on screen, your tumultuous relationship with his character, Saul. I gotta go away for a few days. Before. You do? Yeah. When? Tomorrow. Saul, I... I know. Timing's not great. But you said only a couple of days? Yeah. A week at the most. A week? I wouldn't be going if I didn't absolutely have to. You know what? I could go with you. Well, that'd be great. Why not? It's not that kind of trip. I wish it were. Cheers. Cheers. To us. Is Mandy intense and sort of methody and standoffish and uh, intimidating, or is he? So if you're a method and bear? intense, do you have to be standoffish. I think so. Oh, in, in shit. Josh Sipps's brain. Yeah, uh, Mandy is methody. I would say yes. Uh, he's. I know him really well now. He's not standoffish at all. At the beginning, I was scared of him. Mm -hmm. I have to admit. He's so iconic. So iconic, and I don't know his type. You know, I don't hang out with people like Mandy Patinkin. Mm. So who do you hang out with? Um, like obvious people like Williamsburg hipsters, <laughs> annoying people. <laughs> Williamsburg hipsters are only annoying if you're of a certain persuasion. They're not annoying if you're a Williamsburg hipster. You probably, you probably quite like Williamsburg hipsters right. if you're a Williamsburg hipster. Uh, so we're just approaching, we're about three weeks away from the end of season three yeah. now. And your character is just starting to get entangled into the spy side of things. Is, are you finding this in, yeah, finally you say, was this something you've been sort of hoping and waiting for? Well, I just didn't want to stay in the kitchen mm. too long. I'm, I've been in the kitchen mostly or the hallway. Yeah. Or I answer doors all yeah. the <laughs> so, But you do it really well. Thank one you. of One of thank TV's you. finest thank door you. openers. <laughs> that should say that on your business card, door, professional door opener. Um, oh. So where do you think the character arc is going to go? And how, for a start, how, how far ahead do you get to see scripts? Yeah, I only get out? to see a script ahead. Um, so, we finished shooting, so I, you know, I know more. Well, of course, you know this season, yes. Yeah. yeah. You want to give it away here on Hot Post Live? Why not? You want to ruin you? it? Yeah. Yeah, what happens, at the, what happens in the finale? Oh, God. <laughs> um, how much conversation is there between you and the writers about what, where your character's going to go? Do you get to have any input? Do no. you ever Are you ever audacious enough to say, I think maybe I'm I could do I'm not audacious this. at all that way. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah, I just want to keep my job. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Yeah. Well, you're coming back for a fourth season, so... That's why, so it's good not, yeah, right. just... <laughs> uh, what do you say to critics who say that it's become a bit more sensationalist than it was in the first season, that the pregnancy is sort of a bit soap operatic? You know, I think third season, that is what happens. Like, mm -hmm. even if the show, show is as mean. good, uh, people love it, and it's like... It's like a boyfriend. You just start getting annoyed a bit. <laughs> but you like them more. Do you uh -huh. know what I mean? Like, you're not going to break up at this point. People are not going to not see the show, right. but they're going to criticize it more. Do you, do you think it has any bearing on, on reality? I mean, I think this is a good time for a show about spies, just mm -hmm. um, in the same way mm -hmm. that it, 24 came at the right yeah. time for sort of terrorism paranoia. In, right. It was a show of its time. What do you make of, of Snowden and the NSA and... Obama spying on everybody, does that feed into the way that you approach your role or you, the way that you approach the show at all? A little. I think they're writing what I like about Homeland. Remember that uh, moment Saul had with Farr where he says, if you're going to wear that scarf, you better be the best analyst here. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's borderline politically incorrect and really pushing every issue that I think the world is dealing with right now. But mm -hmm. it's, Homeland seems to, they don't, they're not shy about yeah. going there. So I like that about Homeland is there TV I find is usually one step behind. I find Homeland in certain issues is like with the prayers, the Muslim prayers mm -hmm. that are like Brody praying. Yeah. It's a little ahead of yeah. where people are. So yes. It's kind of cool. Yeah, good. We've got a comment uh, coming in from actually oh. one of our employees here, the Flume, says, Sarita, how could you allow Mira to bring that terrorist French guy into Saul's house and bug his computer? Hasn't poor Saul been through enough? The Langley bombing, getting passed over for director. Come on, Mira. 
Okay, first of all, has anyone seen what he looks like, the French guy? <laughs> <laughs> He's a good looking man.